We just saw Cinderella, and on this show I take my friends, we go see a movie, we review it in the car, and then we have a discussion. The review part is spoiler free, so if you're on the fence or looking for a recommendation, you can watch this video and get our review without any spoilers. And if you'd like to see the uh, discussion video, you can check that out. That will have spoilers in it, but that's for people that have already seen the movie or just want to know everything we thought and um, don't care about hearing about the plot. Um, not that there's much to spoil, this is Cinderella <laughs> after all. Um, but uh, she gets the prince. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's uh, spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, I'm... it's Disney's live action um, adaptation of the story. It's very similar to the cartoon version. Um, you know, they they make some choices uh, as far as how how much to go into. The, you know, it's not a musical. They don't have anthropomorphized um, animals too much. Um, there's obviously things like the you know they change mice into horses and things like that for the the ball and all of those sorts of things um i thought it was really well done i think kenneth browning was a good choice for director um the performances are good all around uh kate blanchett's really good obviously she's she's always good in everything the uh first half of the movie i think was strongest I really thought that they did a good job of developing all the characters and telling a backstory for Cinderella that we don't normally see, more so than any other version that I'd I'd watched before. So I I liked that part of it quite a bit, and then the rest of it is is fine, but it's very much a you know by the numbers retelling of the story. Uh, families will enjoy this movie if you like the Cinderella story, you'll enjoy it. Um, the central performance, I think, could have been better. I didn't really... She was fine, but it wasn't... Like, I wasn't that invested in the character, but I think most of the audience will, will like her just fine. So, I would say, yeah, if, if it looks good to you, you know, go and see it. And if you're happy with the cartoon version, just stick with that. Um, it's... It, it was fun to see it. We saw it in IMAX. Um, lots of great visual effects. You know, Kenneth Branagh did the, the Thor movies, and I think that's probably the closest analog to to this as far as, you know, the visual style and some of the um, the way things are directed and, think, and that sort of stuff. But, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. What did you guys think? Hi. I enjoyed it too. I thought, I mean, yeah, there aren't any surprises, but it was a, it was well. I thought it was particularly well acted. I think they, he did a good job of um, of casting, and well, I, yeah. I'm not as familiar with the Disney stuff, and I, I every time I watch something Disney based, I always get them all mixed up. So I was waiting on things happening that are in different <laughs> stories. Yeah. <laughs> so just as a as not as a Disney thing, but as a film, it, it's kind of hard for me to like. It's Disney's its own world, you know. Oh. So I don't know what to think really. But as a film, I enjoyed it. It was good. I really liked the girl who was cast as the the main as Cinderella. Mm -hmm. um, I th I thought she was good. I thought like the pacing and everything was good. The direction was good. Um, Kate Blanchett was awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's really hard for me to complain. Um, at the beginning, I thought it was going to be excessive voiceover. Mm -hmm. um, but as the film progressed, there was a lot, lot less of it, um, and then it was just the film took over. Um, and the other thing I was worried about was whether it would be musical numbers, and there really isn't, so I was like, cool. Yeah, and Helena Bonham Carter does the narration um, as the fairy godmother, and I thought that she did a good job because it's a it's it's not a typical performance for her it's mm -hmm. she's pretty restrained and yeah, yeah she's just kind of like goofy is kind of more of her character than uh -huh. anything else she's just sort of has kind of a scatterbrained feel when yeah. she's on screen i do like her turn as the fairy godmother she's yeah good. yeah she's really good at that but when she's it narrating restrained for her though yeah yeah when she's narrating it's not like yeah in fact i didn't even click that it was her yeah it wasn't mm -hmm. like outrageous or anything you know yeah I didn't actually realize it was her until she like came out and said, you know, I should know I'm her fairy godmother. Yeah. Sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they did a good job with that. But yeah, that's our review. Um, go check it out. We recommend it. And uh, if you want to hear more about it, check out our discussion video. That'll be right up here. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.